Hi, I'm Janelle Chibi from Four Eyes Innovations, and today I'm going to show you Precision, our power meter. What makes our power meter so exciting to the market is it's a user-installed crank-based power meter. Um, you can install it on the left side, or you can install it on the left and right side. Um, what's exciting is that it runs off of Ant Plus as well as Bluetooth Lite or BLE, so it will speak to any device you have, whether it be a head device or a smartphone. Um, the installation process is really simple. When a customer buys this product, they will get a installation kit with it uh, that basically will include a universal alignment tool and a two-part epoxy. It should take them five, ten minutes to install the device. Um, then it will take about six hours to actually cure. After that, the user will do a calibration. So we will supply a calibration kit with the product as well. And the calibration is also quite simple, where there would be a, actually it'd probably be easier if I showed you on the bike here. So what we would do is on the pedal, we would have a load cell on the one side that we'll supply and there'll be a, a form of spindle on the other side with some grooves and hooks. And it's just a matter of taking any household item that's 10 pounds or more, hanging it once and then calibrating and then hanging it a second time and calibrating. Um, that could be a bucket of water, a dumbbell, an actual weight, whatever the, uh, whatever the person wants to find from their house. So as you can see, we have pretty good clearance here on this side. We also have one mounted on the other side. With both in place, um, the rider can analyze their balance, see how their pedal strokes are doing, um, and try to get a smoother stroke as a result. Now, the pods also have an accelerometer in them, so it will also be able to um, track the cadence, which is pretty important for most users. And that only fits the flat level cranks. Right, so on the cranks, um, a somewhat flat surface is going to be good because we need the epoxy to adhere to it. It could be aluminum or carbon, which everybody's pretty excited about. Um, the difference between aluminum and carbon will in fact just be the calibration process. So on the aluminum, you'll have to calibrate once for the life of the product, whereas the carbon, it'll be more of a once per year type of uh, calibration process. And as far as cranks go, we've noted that it fits pretty much most, most cranks. Um, again, as long as there's a somewhat flat enough surface for it to adhere to, but there can even be, there's, we have tolerance for a good amount of curvature or bend in the surface still, so yeah. Thank you. You're welcome.